everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a cat toy and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making some cat toys. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and some scrap yarn. So first we're starting with a white. It can also be a cream color. And we're going to work on apple slices. So you don't need a very long tail. And we're going to start... Sorry, I just went right into that, didn't I? You're going to start by crossing your yarn. See how I have the tail part over top? And then we're going to chain two. Okay, so there's our chain. I'm going to go into that first chain we made, and I'm going to wrap my tail around. I'm going to pull through, yarn over, and through the two loops. That is a single crochet. We are going to do six of these into that same hole. So that was one two, three, four, five, and six. We are going to slip stitch into that first stitch. We're going to chain up one. And this is what we have so far. That was our first round. We are going to do a total of six rounds, increasing by six in each round. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. But if you already know how to do that, you can just skip ahead. So our next round, we're going to get to 12 stitches. So we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So one, two in that first stitch, three, and four four, go in the next stitch, five, and six, go into the next stitch, seven, eight, and these are all single crochets, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. We are not slip stitching into the chain. We're going to chain one. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so next we are going to do rounds in multiples of three. So here's how I want you to remember what round you are on. So the first round is, see this little um, kind of ridge here? That's your first round. Then we go to our second round, and now we're on our third round, so you know that that's in multiples of three. And this is what I mean. You're going to put two single crochets into that first stitch, and then you're going to put one on its own, so that gives us to three. Two in the next stitch, so four and five go together, and the multiple of three is on its own, so six is on its own. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Seven, eight together, nine is on its own. Do that until you get to 18 and meet me back. So we did our slip stitch, we chained up one. So now what we're gonna do is, so see we have one ridge, two ridges, three ridges. So we're doing our fourth ridge, which means we do multiples of four. So you're going to go in the first one and you're going to do one, two. You always start with two in the first stitch. And then three is on its own and four is on its own. Then it's five and six together. Seven on its own and eights on its own nine and ten together, eleven on its own, and twelve on its own. 
You're going to keep doing this until you get to 24 and meet me back. So I'm at my 24th stitch. I slip stitch into the first stitch we did. Chain up one. So now we're going to work on multiples of five because we have one, two, three, four. This will be our fifth ridge. Um, by the way, just so you know, the scrap yarn that I'm using is all four ply medium weight yarn. Okay. So you're also going to need um, catnip and a piece of material six by four inches. And you'll see why at the end. Okay, so now we're doing our fives. So you go two stitches in the first, one, two, three is on its own, four is on its own, and five is on its own. And once you get to five, you know you're doing multiples of five, so it's time to start a new section. So six and seven are together, eight, nine, Eight is on its own, nine is on its own, and 10 is on its own. Okay, 11 and 12 together, 13, 14, and 15 are on their own. Repeat this until you get to 30 stitches, then meet me back. Okay, so I'm on my 30th. I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch, chain up one. Now we're going to do our round of multiples of six. So just like before, two in the first, one, two, three is on its own, four is on its own, five is on its own, and six is the multiple. Seven and eight together. Nine is on its own. Ten is on its own. Eleven is on its own. And twelve is the multiple. Continue this until you have 36 stitches, then meet me back. We're on our 36 stitch. We're going to slip stitch. And now we're going to cut our yarn, leave a bit of a tail because you're going to have to weave this in. And then take your tail, put it through your loop and pull tight. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. So now you're going to hide your, your yarn ends and have all kinds of tutorials. You can check the description on how to hide yarn ends. And then meet me back and we'll put in our apple seeds. Okay, so I hid my threads. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scrap piece of brown or black. It's gotta be a dark brown or a black. And what I do is when I have extra long ends, like just snips, I just save them. I put them in a little baggie and I save them. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at our center here. Okay, see our nice little center? We are going to leave a bit of a tail at the back. I'm holding it with my finger. And then we're just going to put some apple seeds. So I'm going over two, two rounds. See that? Okay, I'm going to move over a couple stitches. So I skip two um, spaces and now I'm coming out through here and I'm going to go down into this one and now I'm going to move over to here skip those two again and go here now I'm going to turn this and I want to do I'm going to go over to here and then again, I'm skipping two rows and I'm going to go up into here. I'm skipping two spaces down to the center. 
going over to the next space. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. Those are our apple seeds. Now on the back, it's a hot mess, but that's okay. Because this part, the cat is not going to see and you're not going to see. I'm just going to, without distorting my yarn, I'm just going to tie a knot. I did a double knot, but I'm just going to throw an extra knot in there. I'm going to cut these threads. I leave a bit of extra on there so that it won't unravel if it comes loose a bit or if the, the things are tugged on. This is still a fairly good length if I need to make some eyes or something. So I just put that back in my scrap bag. This is my scrap bag. <laughs> I just put it back in my scrap bag, get it out of the way. Put my needle away because as you know, I have cats. <clears throat> now we are going to fold this. Actually, first we should probably make our, um, we should make our kitty, the catnip stuff. So, just one, grab your material, grab your catnip, meet me back. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, my material is very scrap. It's still got threads from whatever I used it for. I'm going to take my catnip. Now, I just get my catnip at like the dollar store. So I'm going to take a teaspoon of catnip. Okay. Teaspoon of catnip. I'm going to put it in the middle of my material. It doesn't have to be exactly... Um, a teaspoon that's just what I use then I'm going to put one side over and roll it and then I'm gonna take this and tie it in a knot and that's all I do to contain my catnip you don't have to double knot it because this is gonna be tucked in the toy so there we go there Okay, so now back to this. We're gonna fold it so that our seeds are kind of in the middle. See, they're in the middle mostly. So we're gonna go on our edge. We're gonna take our scrap red. We're gonna go on the edge and we're gonna pick up two stitches. See, so I've gone through that stitch and that stitch. We are gonna grab our, I just hold it at the back. We're gonna pull that through and we're gonna chain up two. In those same two stitches, we're gonna yarn over, go into the same two stitches, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. That is a half double crochet, okay? So we did two, cause the chain three counts as, or sorry, the chain two counts as a half double crochet and then the other one. Then in the next one, so we're taking this one and we're taking that one from the other side. We're going to pull through, go through all three loops. We're just doing a single one in that. In the next, we're going through this one and that one. Pull through. We're going to do two half double crochets in that. And we're going to continue this and we're going to nestle our catnip in the middle there. Just tuck it in so it's out of the way. And we're just gonna close this up. So you're doing one, two, one, two, one, all the way across and you're catching both sides. So do that and meet me back. Now when you get to the last stitch, even if you've already done two for the previous, do two in the last stitch as well. Okay, you're gonna make your loop big, cut a bit of a tail, put your tail through the loop, pull tight, and hide your threads. And there you go, guys. You have an apple slice cat toy. So I hope you found this um, tutorial informative. I hope it was helpful. I hope you make tons of little toys for your cat 
or you can make them as gifts and give them to your friends who have cats. Um, it's really easy to make. It's fun. They're great to sell at craft sales and things like that. Feel free to do that. I'd rather you didn't sell them on Etsy because I too have an Etsy store. But again, what I don't know won't hurt me. So whatever, right? <laughs> have fun with it. So your apple slice can also have a green edge. It can have a red edge. It can have a yellow edge. Whatever kind of apple slice you would like. So thanks so much for watching. Check my description. I put tons of goodies in my description. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.